Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a parcel today and this is a special parcel. Uh, it comes to me from the lovely people and Ermin at OneDaySaving.com. Um, I've worked with them quite a few times in the past now and they asked if I would like a little something extra as a little special item. And yes, of course. So let's have a look and see what we got. So we have one diamond painting. We have a little... Ooh, Special. Wouldn't be a Liz without a special. And then we have a couple of diamond painting pens. Wow. Okay. So I'll tell you what's special about these once I've gone through them all. What shall we have a look at first? Let's have a look at the pens first. Okay. So this is one of their collection of resin pens which are absolutely wonderful and I've not seen this one before and look at the sparkle on that whoops <laughs> it's like flowers and glitter and gold I'm not quite sure how close I can get up and keep it focusing oh that's good yay the focus is working today I'm getting the hang of my new phone camera but look at that is that not just absolutely stunning? Yeah, that's how a lovely acrylic pen. There is, I think, about six in the set of these. And on the website at the moment, they are £4.95. So under £5 for a diamond painting pen that looks as stunning as that. And I mean, you're just going to be so blingy when you're uh, using this one. And it's not a bad weight, about a medium weight, I would say. Uh, it's got two nice grip places, so you can either grip at that side, which is a little bit thinner, or that side is just slightly fatter, so it depends on how you use your hand as to uh, how you diamond paint and how you hold your pen. Now, as I've said in the past, um, I've been having trouble with this finger because it's been starting to uh, ache. So instead of holding my pen like a pen, uh, with my finger wrapped around there, I've started holding it more like that. So I've got my three fingers over the top of it and I'm training myself to diamond paint like that. So these fingers aren't quite as bent um, and I'm finding that I'm not getting the pain quite so much. So it's something, just try it. I know it can be difficult sometimes when you've held a pen a certain way or you've been doing something a certain way, but you can sort of train yourself. Muscle memory, I think they call it these days, a watchword. Um, yeah, to just do things slightly differently. And you, you may find it's just that little bit more comfortable. So it's worth having a go. Uh, we do have a multiplacer on the top of here as well. Oops. Okay, so let's see what size this one is. Is this a six? Don't think it's a seven. Nope, it's a six. So we've got a six set uh, multi-placer on here as well and a single placer. But obviously these do come out, so you can swap them out. This is one of the older versions of the uh, multi-placers. But as I've said in the past, I like these because uh, you can use them um, for doing special drills they're quite good for picking up heavy gems because you've got a lot of wax there to pick up a heavier gem and there's just a little bit more surface area uh, I believe that the thinner ones the thinner white plastic ones are sometimes better for diamond painting some people prefer them um, but I find these better for special drills and as you know I love doing special drills if you've not tried them give them a go um, it's something that if you're doing a huge painting and you're in the middle of it and you're getting a bit disillusioned maybe you feel as though you're not achieving anything just slip in that little special drill thing in the middle of it somewhere you just achieve it maybe in a couple of hours or even some of the like, little key rings in it less than an hour and you just think yeah oh, I have and you'll fall back in love with diamond painting again so it's worth having a go Okay, but look how sparkly that is. I just love that. I just think that is so pretty. And there's so many colours in it. We've got pink and white and purple and blue and green. A hot pink in there, look as well. We've got a hot pink. I'm calling hot pink. Yay! 
and yeah they're just so clever i just it fascinates me how they can get all that to stay in there um yeah i suppose it's a bit like a cake you know you've got to get the currents going all the way through it not just all at the bottom <laughs> or is that just me <laughs> okay so that's pen number one and as i say for less than five pound i mean we are coming up to the holiday season um christmas is coming and if you are looking for nice little either stocking fillers or presents for friends, I mean, they won't think you've, well, unless they watch this video, ha <laughs> ha uh, they won't think you've only spent £5 on that, will they? Okay, so that is our lovely resin pen. Okay, so I'll we'll pop that to one side for a moment. And the other one I got is one of my lovely, you know, I like collecting the little bit quirky novelty things which again are for the diamond painter who has everything and um, if you've got somebody that possibly can't use the um slightly weightier pens the ones that weigh a little bit more uh, we all have different uh, ways of diamond painting and some people can use a little bit heavier pen and some people can't so i like the quirky ones because sometimes they're a little bit lighter and this one i just thought was stunning again it's um I think you can see that it is a gorgeous stag look at that with all this like um diamond shaped top and i just thought oh i like that and i know um maybe a, a little daughter that uh may like this because she absolutely loves stags so yeah i just thought this was quite a nice one uh, it's all in like a, a rose gold color like a little bit of a pale bronzy color it does come in several different colors it's even got uh the like the tip end here look it's all uh all faceted down at the bottom all like carved and then these little dots here and it's like, oh that's wonderful and it is so light honestly it it's possibly just a little bit heavier than a pink pen but you are going to be taking the top off so yeah i would put that on par with one of the pink pens that you use uh, it's got its single placer in there but obviously you can swap this out but and then again i do like the ones where you can put um a sealable lid and it's got a really good click on it look and it's got i don't know is that rubber around there i don't know whether it's a little bit sort of rubberized around the edge because it just feels as though it's sealing it so if you have got your wax in there and leaving it overnight or whatever you use your glue dots your uh, putty whatever it is that you use in your pens then it's not going to dry out because it's nice and sealed and it still saves getting fluff on it as well um i must admit the one i use i forget to put a lid on it and then i come to it the next day uh, and yeah i find that quite often it's not all that sticky because it's just either dried out a little bit or it's not or it's got a little bit of fluff maybe on it <sighs> don't judge me my cobwebs are now halloween decorations <laughs> okay but yeah i just thought uh, something again a little bit different and i love the color okay so that's our little stag and i didn't realize but it looks as though it comes with oh, quite a few multiplacers as well and one of them's just jumped off the desk let me just get this piece of blue envelope card can you see those a little bit better now Ooh, no not really okay so where's my little multi-placer guide back again so we have i believe that's going to be a six placer again let's check yep so we've got one of the fatter six placers Oh, we've got one of the bent single placers. So if you like, like the elbow shaped ones, you can swap out. Oops. Do you know, I keep thinking it's going to be this end and it's not. It is this end. <laughs> you can swap out that for your little elbow one. And again, it's not all that long, this pen. So if you're using, say, your magnifying light or whatever, um, it's quite easy to get underneath. And actually, that's probably going to be better for me because I'm going to be doing it sort of sideways rather than down on. Ooh, I've not tried one of these elbow ones yet. I've got quite a few, I have to say. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to try that because I think I will find that easier. 
Mm. And that is so light. And again, try, you know, just using your fingers straight. As set. I'm still practicing. I am getting better at it, but I automatically go to holding it like a pen. But uh, as I start diamond painting, I think, nope, change your, your stance, Liz. Change uh, the way you're holding your pen. Okay. Oh, we've got a lovely long straightener. Look at that one. I would suggest that that's, that's 10. I would think that's maybe a 13, a 12 or a 13 drill straightener, but it has a nice fine edge down here. So you actually uh, can get in between your drills and straighten them up if you like to have your drills absolutely straight. So yeah, that's useful. We then have, it looks like this is a three-placer, one of the older style three-placers. Yes, it is. But again, as I say, using them for your uh, special drill paintings, they are a lot easier to use. And what's this one? Is this one a nine? Or it could it be a ten? Nope, it's a nine. So we've got a, oh, right. So we've got a three, a six and a nine placer. We've got a single placer, we've got an elbow single placer, and then I think that's possibly a 12 or a 13 straightener. So, yeah, really good. Sorry, you can't really see those, can you? Let's see if I can just lift it up without dropping them all. This could be fun. Okay, there you are. That looks a bit better. Oh, the camera doesn't like the lighting on this. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, oop! <laughs> at least it wasn't the stag's head that decided to run off so yeah so that is the other pen i'll put the single placer actually no i'm going to put the elbow placer back in it for now will the lid go on with the elbow placer no it won't so the only one that it's likely to fit will it fit with the three placer no so the only one you can actually leave in it uh, is your single placer if you're wanting to close it off at a night time but other than that you can swap out your others when you need them so pop those back in there excellent job okay like those and i do like that i think that's lovely and sparkly as well right so that's the two pens okay let's move that out of the way and that's out of the way let's have a look Oh, that came in there, didn't it? Do you know, I've just put all those back in there and it came in this one. <laughs> Wrong pen, Liz. Let's put these back in here. Okay, so let's have a look at this. And this is uh, a new product. And I just thought, oh, I'm going to have to get one of those. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, ooh, and it's a nice flexible plastic. So like acrylic, but it's flexible. Um, I wouldn't flex it too far because it is acrylic. Uh, but yeah, and it's a bookmark, but it's a feather. And look at that. The colours on that are super. So this is like the aqua and green and lemony colour one. There are several different ones in the set. So watch this space. Let's have a look at this. Uh, we've got our special drills there. Ooh, sparkle, sparkle, and AB coated ones as well. Uh, we've got our little toolkit here, which looks like it's got the extra little twiggly bits in it for the, uh, the bookmark. So we have two jump rings. Right, let me just grab a little bag. Just want a little grip seal bag to put these bits in. Because uh, if they're just going in with the toolkit, I'm likely to lose them. So we have our two jump rings okay we've got our little um like hanging part so that makes it well, i suppose you could use it as a bag charm but they are actually sort of they're they're sold sort of on the website as a um, bookmark but i mean you could use it as a bag charm if you wanted if you've got you know a big bag then there's nothing to stop you having that dangling down and it would look very very sparkly and pretty and if you've got like a turquoise lovely coloured handbag then that would go super with it certainly get you noticed anyway so yes yeah, so we've got the little um well it's like a piece of thread it's like thin string thread um and your little jump ring there that will go through that one and go through there to uh, fasten it on 
one I didn't realise. We have a little diamond to go on it as well. Ooh, look at that. That's uh, AB coated as well. So, yeah, sparkly. Lots of sparkle. So, I wonder if that will go... Uh, it can't go at the bottom because there's only one sort of hole punched through, which is there at the top. So, it must go onto there as well. Ooh. So, you're going to have a little diamond hanging at the top. That's so pretty. So I'd not noticed that in the pictures. So. It's worth uh, seeing things. This is why I like showing things, because I find out things uh, along with you <laughs> yourselves as well. We get to see them together. So, yeah, that's all your little twiddly bits to make your keyring extra special and pretty. Uh, let's pop that in there. I know books aren't quite as fashionable as they were. No, that's maybe not fair because uh, I know my mum would never get on with an electronic device for reading. Uh, I like them because I can make my text bigger so I can read um, with whatever text size I need and I can change the colour settings as well. So I'm not just buying a book at a standard text and a standard size. Um, and I must admit, I've looked at books with bigger print and they're enormous and they weigh a ton and it's not the sort of thing you can lay in bed with one of those great big books you're like lifting it so yeah i like my e-reader uh well my kindle um i read my kindle on my phone and uh, my mum likes the physical books which is difficult because we used to swap books back in the day but never mind uh so yeah and i do like the fact that this is lovely and thin because it's not going to be real bulky to put into your pages and then your little dangly bit will just hang over the edge so that will be in the pages of your book and that will hang over the edge sort of holding your space over your book so yeah I do like that let's give it a quick measure oops I've just found another jump ring as I was moving that so let's put that one in there as well they do usually give you a spare uh, you can always use your own if you've got them um, I do have a few left over from some jewellery making days. The pink pens decided to jump off the desk. I'm just having one of those days. Uh, right, so let's give this a quick measure. Uh, Scotty tape measure has uh, made a comeback. So I found one out of the three that I have. Uh, I can't find the pink one now, so don't worry. <laughs> Things keep going missing. Right, so the size of this is 20 centimetres, which is 8 inches, which is a nice size for a bookmark. Uh, the widest point, which is sort of the bottom of the feather here, is about 6 centimetres-ish, which is 2 and a quarter-ish inches. So, yeah, it's a nice size, but as I say, it is lovely and thin. I reckon that, I don't know whether I'll be able to measure it or not, really. I think it's about 2 millimetres. Uh, yeah, it might only be, it's between one and two millimetres thick, so it's very, very, thin. oh, it's quite nice for wafting as well, if you're a bit warm. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the drills. I'm going to move this because I don't think the blue was doing much good, is it? Okay, I'll have to get myself a piece of cream card or something, I think, so it shows up a little bit better. I'm trying. <laughs> Don't we know it was the church cry? Right, okay, so we have several different uh, gems and colours in this one. Ooh, okay, we'll start at, oh, look at these. So we've got there's two different colours, yeah, two different colours of like your aqua sparkly gems. Wow, gorgeous and sort of a limey green, pretty green colour. And we have like an orangey amber colour there. That's going to really offset those greens and blues. Look at those colours together. Wow. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, your little plain silver there, all sparkly. A little bit of gold. And then we've got some marquees with uh, an AB coating. That's Aurora Borealis, your Northern Lights coating there. Just gives you like an oil and water effect. Okay. So what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven colours. Wow. Ooh. So we've got two like bluey purple marquees there. 
we've got some silver round faceted there again with an AB coating and oh some round faceted with like your purpley pink colour AB coating lovely so that is very very pretty so that's our oh we'll put them in there as well we'll keep the uh, toolkit out of the way and we'll put those into there and pop those on one side for now oh, there's some more jump rings there look there's jump rings everywhere so i've got five jump rings all together so you could actually then um hang your little uh, diamond by a few jump rings make a little tiny chain because they're not a bad quality jump ring they do look um fairly fairly strong obviously give them a try as you're going along so yeah that's uh, another two jump rings. Wow, okay. So I'm going to put that into there as well. Actually, I might put all of these into here. Let's put all of these into here. Because I like the little grip seal bags best. Rather than the crinkly ones. Okay, so that is our feather. But I think there's quite a few different ones of these. And that is just so pretty. Okay, so we've had pens and a bookmark. And then let's have a look at our canvas. I think you can see it just peeking over the top. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> it's got to be cute. It's a little cutie. And I've not seen this one before. And it just made me smile. What can I say? It's my favourite size. 30 by 40. Oh, it's quite a nice soft canvas as well, this one. Very nice. Okay, we've got our starter toolkit. You just your basic pen, butt, and wax. Okay, and it's oh, all special drill. Wow. Okay, we'll have a look at those in a second. But this one is look. <laughs> is that not just cute and wonderful? <laughs> Let's just flatten it out a little bit. As I say, it is 30 by 40. It only has seven different colours. And this is what I call a full coverage special drill, where practically all of it is covered. So it's not um, it's not what you would call a full drill painting, because there are gaps, there are places like around the elephant here um and sort of in between some of the drills where there isn't any gems or diamonds but it is practically a full coverage painting and they do take a similar time to do as like a standard 30 by 40 painting so yeah you, you do get quite a bit out of these but oh dear I, it just made me laugh so much at first i thought it was one elephant um sort of like stuck well it's stuck it looks like it's stuck in vertical blinds doesn't it <laughs> have you ever seen a cat do that one of our cats did that once uh, it's sort of like it tried to get through the blinds and uh, it just ended up hanging there because it sort of like got to a point where it couldn't quite work out which way to go to get out so it just hung there and waited for somebody to help you know cats have staff don't they <laughs> but uh, this is actually a two elephants so it looks like this one's managed to get herself through. And I'm saying she's a girl because she's got her flowers in her hair. Just my opinion. <laughs> and she's laughing at this one who's trying to squeeze through. And maybe this one's just a little bit tubbier and can't quite get itself through there. But uh, another reason I decided to get this one is because... Uh, Pencil Surprises, the lovely Sharon, and uh, Diamond Grandma, the lovely Lynn, are doing an event uh, in January 23 called Big Butts. And I thought, you don't get much bigger butt than an elephant. <laughs> so this will be uh, my painting, or one of my paintings that I'm going to do for the January Big Butts event. And I just thought, yeah, that is just super, and it will just make me smile. I do like a painting that I enjoy doing but also makes me smile while I'm doing it in fact it'll probably make me laugh I can just imagine actually that uh, that would be me saying to hubby for goodness sake will you just hurry up and get through that gap because we haven't got all day <laughs> so yeah 
that's uh, two little Ellie flumps and I just think it's so pretty and it's got one of my favourite flowers which is the sunflowers on it. Uh, we went pumpkin picking yesterday and they were selling sunflowers so I actually bought a really big sunflower head that was absolutely crammed with seeds. It's finished, the, 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 actual la, 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 la. the actual flowering part has finished and it was just like a big seed head. It, was, it is literally that round. Uh, and I thought, right, I'm going to have that and I'm going to have a go at growing some next year. So watch this space. I hope you'll still be with me next year. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have a go at growing some sunflowers because I do think they are so pretty and they also feed the birds as well because i was going to put the sunflower head outside and then i thought no because the birds are just going to eat it all and i won't have any left so yeah as i'm gonna have to look it up on the internet maybe look it up on youtube uh how to grow sunflowers <laughs> uh, gardening's not my strong point but yeah so i've got little elephants she's she really is laughing you can see it in her eyes she's just laughing her head off and she's just got her hand underneath her chin thinking i wonder how long this is going to take now yeah you can just see it can't you but is that not the funniest painting you've seen in ages okay let's have a quick measure it says 30 by 40 but uh, i think we're going to be at 35 which is 13 and three quarter inches so 35 centimeters that three quarter inches by we are 25 centimeters nine and three quarter inches okay but yeah this is a lovely soft canvas as well you can see it's flattening out on its own already um i do find that a little bit softer canvas i don't like really soft canvases but the little bit softer ones the creases just drop out as it's flattening itself out because there's just that little bit of movement in them okay let's have a look at these gems lots and lots of sparkle okay wow wow <laughs> so we have four bags of plain crystals but look at the shine on those see you get like a bluey effect from the packet on them and they're a bluey white glow so that's going to be all the background I'm not quite sure what it is to say it reminds me a bit of vertical blinds but i suppose it's more sort of stringy stuff that they're trying to get through but judging by how this one's struggling to get through it must be quite solid um oh look i didn't realize that he's got his foot stuck here look as well is uh, as he's squeezing through there he's got his foot caught under that one as well so that's stopping him from getting through oh dear he is in a mess actually she's been a bit naughty isn't she because she could be helping him <laughs> she could just use a trunk couldn't she and just sort of like give him a smack on the backside and just he would just probably jump through then <laughs> Yeah, uh, we've got a lovely grey, pale grey colour, which I think is going to be our little hella flumps. And we've got like a beigey, browny colour there. We've got like a, that's like a honey, sort of goldy, bronzy colour. A little tiny bit of green, which will go for our greenery. <gasps> and then look at these for the sunflowers. So we've got the big, long, thin marquees in like the amber colour the outside of the sunflowers for all the big petals down here and then we've got the little gold with the silver backing um for the rest of the sunflowers oh this is going to be gorgeous but i am going to wait till january to do it for the big books event okay i'll put a, a link down below um to both of those ladies channels so you can pop across and go and have a look and see what they're up to but yeah they're doing lots of events and uh, I do like to take part. I think um, it's a lovely little community that we've got and we're doing... Put these away. And doing events just sort of like brings you closer to people and it's supporting your friends as well. And that's what it's all about, sharing the love okay so a little bit special i did say there was going to be something special if you stayed with me to the end um, at one day saving said to me would i like 
um, a couple of products for giveaways. And I said, of course, I, I love to uh, do giveaways. And yeah, why not? Let's have something I say. Share the love. Okay, so before I tell you the exciting part, um, if you do pop along to onedaysaving.com, they have got quite a few special offers on at the moment. And if you spend over $50, um, you'd have to convert it for your country and check out uh, what applies to your country. Um, you will get free shipping and two free gifts. Yay! Two free gifts. We like free gifts. Okay. And don't forget as well, um, I do have a code for one day saving to get you 5% off everything. So, yay. It is Liz 05 off. Yay, I have it printed out now so I don't forget. <laughs> so, yeah, if you type in, and it is case sensitive, so you do need to capital L, small i and Z, and then 0, 050, 0, and then capital FF. Okay, so 5% off. But if you would like to possibly get something else free, then the good people at One Day Saving and Ermin said, would I like something for a giveaway on my channel? So I said, well, yes, of course, because I'm sure everybody would love to uh, have another giveaway. And yeah, so this gorgeous sparkly pen, this lovely resin pen, is my subscriber giveaway so you do need to be subscribed to the channel and um, we are trying to grow our little family and i'd prefer you to say subscribed as well after the giveaway because <laughs> you never know there's quite a few other bits and pieces coming up as well so keep watching okay to subscribe to the channel all you need to do there's a little button down here in this corner and it says subscribe on it if you click on there and then a little sort of pop-up comes up and if you click on the all notifications bell all that means is that uh, you'll get a notification when I post any videos so if you're wanting to know whether you are the giveaway winner then uh, yeah if you're subscribed you won't miss the video because you'll just get a little notification either in your notifications on your show bar it'll just pop up and say Lizards have posted a new video why not come along and have a look and I'd love you to join me so yeah so I just thought yeah that's a fantastic giveaway. So thank you so much, One Day Saving, for thinking of me and uh, letting me do this giveaway on my channel. It's wonderful. Uh, obviously, you can go and uh, get one yourself or one of the other ones, if you wish, with 5% off. And it will count towards your uh, $50 spend for your free postage and your free gifts as well. It's all win-win. We -win. like uh, the word free is just absolutely wonderful. And I think giveaway is quite up there as well with free. OK, so, yeah, please subscribe to the channel. Now, if you've already got this pen or you're not keen on resin pens, then you can have the stag pen instead if you prefer. Um, obviously, it is up to you, uh, you know. This is the actual giveaway, but I'm quite happy to swap it out for this one if you'd prefer this one. OK, so, yeah, what a great little haul. And I love this for my Big Butts event. The feather is absolutely gorgeous and I will be getting on and cracking on and doing that one ASAP. But I've got to wait till January to do my Big Butts one. <laughs> what are we going to do to be able to... Uh, enter into the giveaway uh what can we put what can we put i know let's put hashtag pen that's hashtag p-e-n uh, in the comments down below it's only going to be on this video i'm not putting it on any of the other platforms um i'll advertise it on instagram and facebook but you will have to watch the video and put hashtag pen in the description down below because i will only be looking at these comments and we'll give you a week so seven days from the day that this video goes up then I will draw out the winner of the giveaway and it will probably be Hubby and Millie as per usual because they seem to have a nice little job now and we will have a little guest with us as well. Uh, if you've been with me for a while you will know that little Lottie Lou, my friend's little wolf, does come to stay with us from time to time and she is coming with us she is coming to stay with us this week so yeah next week when I do the announcement it may be a Lottie that's actually there to help as well three people drawing out the winner yay but i just think that's a stunning prize okay so don't forget comment hashtag p e n in the comments down below 
Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have. I absolutely love this. <laughs> I'm going to be laughing at this little face for ages. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, as always, a thumbs up is really very much appreciated. A uh, huge thank you to One Day Saving for sending me these to show you and for sending the giveaway prize. Yay! Okay, and if you've got any other comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below with your hashtag pen. Okay, well, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Don't forget to subscribe to be in with a chance of winning. Put hashtag pen. Bye for now.